Okay, so all morning long, this was what's happening with the market. It was just painful. Painful to watch. It's horribly boring. Finally, it broke, and I entered big. I entered with eight contracts this time. Um, this is kind of one of those, for sure, it's continuing down. It's been going up for, it's been in a sideways market for quite some time, a long time, because it went up, and now it's going sideways, sideways, finally broke, and that's showing me that it's going to start to head down. <clears throat> so I jumped in with eight contracts. And I have two target areas that I go with. So here is the breakdown of this trade. Okay, so I entered here. This is my main entering area. This is the EMA line, 52-week period. And I enter about one tick away from here. So here's my initial eight contracts. I accidentally put in for four for my stop, which is my risk. I should have done eight. I don't know. I think because I was doing this. It's a good thing it didn't fail because I... Probably would have lost a lot more. Um, so this is an error. This is something you really need to be careful of. Anyhow, so this is my risk. I have five ticks, which is $67.50 per contract. And my first target, which is going to be four contracts, the exact same. Five ticks, $67.50 per contract. <clears throat> and this is my second. This is my second one right here, my second target. Okay, so now... Finally, it broke through, and now it's hanging out here. So this is a real big problem for not only me, for traders in general. When it starts to slow down, and it did slow down, this whole little area took almost five minutes. The entire trade was 15 minutes, so this was, like, painful. This is where, you know, trigger finger happens. You could either, you know, you have to sit through it for it to get to your target, Sometimes I get out here knowing that I have profit, just move my risk here and wait for the second target to hit. And I just sit. But in this case, gratefully, um, I managed to sit through it. I think maybe I even went for a little walk to get some water just to get away from the computer. Okay, finally, it broke through. It filled me right here. This is my first contract. I mean, my first target, four, four points, I mean, four targets hit right away. This was a $250 um, gain right away. So now I moved my risk, which is now four contracts left to here. Now, if it returns back to here, I don't care. I'm sitting on $250, right? So uh, now I'm just waiting. But at this point, it looks pretty good that it's gonna hit here right it looks really good the only thing that i'm starting to notice now is serious divergence from here to here okay from here to here so right now i'm just sitting and waiting all right and it hit it so now i am sitting on my targets uh i actually moved it up a little bit because the divergence was too much and Normally, I like it to hit one tick above the last pivot. Even if it continued down, I just didn't want to bother because this could be now forming a reversal area, which is right here. Look at that divergence. That's something I don't enjoy. So here's the breakdown of my, of my trade really fast. I'm going to show it to you here, actually. All right. So I entered here with eight contracts. The first target was right here that was at $270 sorry $270 so about two ticks later which was seven ticks in total is my next entry and this because I had four contracts here was $350 in total $600 and look what happened it's not going anywhere anymore right this is a beautiful reversal area tons of divergence this is now I'm done I'm actually done for the day so this is pretty much how it works.